picture? I can we give a moment of silence for this beautiful picture right now? Oh my god, I'm screaming inside, screaming internally. What's up guys, the name's Rana Dragnail, and welcome to Seduce Me, Shall We Dance? So this is Sam's epilogue, and it was, it was made, this was the first epilogue made, this was supposed to be an extra for just Sam, because he's supposedly the canon route for Seduce Me, as I said before. And see the hashtag at the bottom, Sam, hashtag Sam is the best. Ah, uh, okay, he is. I'm not, don't get me wrong, he is. He's bay too, he's bay too. But still, okay. So without further ado, let's start. I'm gonna put my actual name, because I did that in the last time. It had been two years, two years since my grandfather passed away. Two years since I met the boys. Two years since Sam and I shared our first kiss by forcefully doing it. It may have been forced, yes, but it was still my first and my last. I grew to love this man and held no doubt about my affections for him. He might have seemed intimidating to some, but inside, he was a sweetheart and was as gentle as a feather. Ah, yep, that's it. Okay. I have a feeling Michaela put him as a cannon route just because he was my first kiss. That's what I think. Ah, I, I could be wrong, but anyway... I felt warm every time I thought of him, a smiling, a smile following after. Sam. As his image appeared in my mind, my heart fluttered. Sam had decided to join the police force, and he had used his handcuffs very well. Oh. 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 Embarrassment aside, he would always come home proud to have caught a criminal or have stopped a fight. I was so proud of him and always praised him enough to make him go red in the face. He was so cute like that. He would always smile, though, in the end. He cherished me beyond anything else in the world. I was happy and I never wanted my story to end. No surprises, no problems. One, on a day off, though, something surprised me. I was cleaning the kitchen, humming my favorite Rise of the Phoenix song to myself. Dinner was quick, but having a clean kitchen was important. My mind wandered to what had happened at dinner. It was peaceful, but Sam barely said a word to me. It might have been because he was tired, but Sam was a lot more vocal at dinner time. What made today different? However, just as I finished cleaning the last utensil, something zipped past me like lightning. I looked past. I looked back and tried to see from my memory, but I could pin a detail on the fast-moving shadow, but I came up with only one answer. Sam? Excuse me. No reply. It had to be Sam, though. Who else would do this? Who else would even be in the house? I quickly washed my hands and tried to run in the direction the shadow ran towards, heading into the dining room. I gasped, slight, gasped slightly. What the? Draped over the chair was a sign. From the handwriting, I could tell that it was Sam. He tried to write legibly enough for his me message to get across. He still had some work to do. But I read the sign as best as I could. Oh yeah, because he didn't learn to read and write. That's probably why. You have a surprise in your room. A surprise? What was going on? Was this some kind of booty call? Or was this a trick? Booty call. That's exactly what it is. Yup, some kind of booty call. Sam, what are you up to? I decided to go along with this. What was waiting for me? Would it be a desperate Sam? Would it be a gift or so of some sort? This wasn't like Sam at all, and yet it had Sam written all over it. He practically wrote the sign himself. I walked through the lobby and headed upstairs to my room. I felt a pair, I felt a pair of eyes watching me, but I ignored it. If Sam was watching, then he'd watch me follow his directions to the roughly written letter. My bedroom door was closed, despite me leaving it open the last time I left. Odd. I slowly opened it, mentally preparing for anything. I wasn't prepared enough for what was there. I saw a beautiful jade-colored dress laid out on my bed. It gently glimmered in the light of the room, showing the grace of its regal fabric and design. It looked like a princess gown, 
Yet it was definitely a modern dress. It was like a large prom dress, but I wasn't going to prom. Stepping further into the room, I noticed my bedside table was covered in different jewelry and accessories. On the floor was a pair of gorgeous jade heels that sparkled in the light of the room. He got all of this for me? What is going on, though? Sam, if you're around, what is going on? I tried to speak out. Hopefully he would be nearby to hear me. I didn't hear a reply. Sam, what is going on? This was beyond anything Sam would do. I could never imagine him laying this out for me, yet my heart fluttered at the thought possibly being very true. My mind began to imagine him seeing me in this dress. His face would turn red, but he would give me that silly grin and call me pretty. His, my lips curled into a very happy smile at the fantasy thought. I stepped towards the dress and gently lifted it up. It was perfectly made for me. The tailoring was custom with no tag on the collar. I blushed wildly. When did... What distracted me was a note falling out of the dress onto the floor. I quickly picked it up and read it. Again, it was Sam's sloppy handwriting. Please get dressed and wait to be escorted back downstairs. I stared at the note in complete confusion. Wait to be escorted? What did that mean? Were we going somewhere? This whole thing left me with so many questions, I began to rethink following the shadow from the kitchen. He... he'd better explain at the end of all this. I muttered before slowly stripping down and slipping on the dress. It was indeed perfect, form-fitting and princess-like. A quick zip and suddenly I was royalty. I looked at the mirror at myself and couldn't stop staring. I really did look regal. Whoa. I stared at myself. How was I able to look like this from simply putting on a dress? I slowly started to add accessories and some of the pieces of jewelry. Once I put on the heels, I felt that the world around me was almost too dreamlike to be real. This was from Sam? Hard to believe, I know. A small knock tapped up by, on my door and I quickly w rushed over to open it. Is it Sam? Oh, no, it's James. Eh, you're still, you're still cool, though. I stared as Jane. I stared as James, dressed in his servant garb, greeted me and held out an arm to me. He was in on this? James, what is going on? I need answers! James didn't reply. Come on! Simply smiling at me and nodding for me to take his arm. I slowly took it, now even more unsure of what was happening. He guided me to the lobby where Eric, Matthew, and Damien waited for us in their servant garbs as well. I gripped to James's arm tighter, now very nervous. I'm nervous too! What was going on? Oh, look at them all being pretty, especially you, Eric. Okay, this is for uh, paying attention to Sam. Not Eric, Sam. Okay, we climbed down the stairs before James gently lowered my arm and joined his, his brothers. Everything was slowly becoming a fairy tale dream, and my mind had a hard time wrapping around it. Before I could speak, though, the boys bowed their heads and raised their arms in unison toward the dining room archway. I turned my head and gasped. Oh my god, he's wearing a prince uniform. Oh my goodness, he looks so cute. He looks very, very cute. Very cute. Okay, Sam, you're very cute now. Oh my goodness. Dressed in an extremely handsome prince garb was Sam, staring at me with both a surprised expression and a blush on his cheeks. Look at that cute little blush. I felt a blush rush on my, onto my own face at the sight of Sam. He looked really handsome, and my heart was racing just from looking at him. This had to be a dream. Sam gulped slightly before walking over and holding his hand to me. Holding out his hand to me, I stared at it, then slowly reached out and placed his my hand in his lips. Sam smiled before gently bringing it to his lips. His hand was quivering. Why? You look amazing. <laughs> oh my god, stop. You do too. Let's just get a little... Look at him! Look at him! He looks so cute! Back to the story. I stared at Sam as he looked at me with his lips on my knuckles. My blush grew hotter on my face, making him chuckle softly and lean back up straight. He didn't let go of my hand, however, and gently pulled me towards him. I looked up at Sam as he smiled and rested my hand on my waist, lifting his hand he was holding lifting the hand he was holding beside us. I naturally rested a hand on his shoulder, raising an eyebrow. Then the music started to play. Music! 
It was a song I recognized, and it had to be, and it had become Sam's personal favorite, only plucked on the piano. I looked over the, to the direction of the sound, barely seeing Eric play, playing a portable piano in the corner of the room, before feeling Sam tighten his grip on me, making me look back at him. Back to him. Okay, so to those who don't know, this song that's playing right now, it's the piano version of the Seduce Me opening, Chain the Monster. So that's pretty much what I would say. Anyway. Well, shall we dance? Yes! I stared, every, telling every single dancing nerve in my body that this was, indeed, real, before nodding to Sam. Like a fairy tale, he and I began to dance in almost perfect unison. He gently guided me around the lobby, waltzing with me with a tender smile on his face. I couldn't help but smile back, despite my mind being completely lost in what was going on. His smile always made everything okay with me. Each step we took was the perfect timed with was perfectly timed with the music. I didn't doubt Sam had these skills because he was an incubus, yet it seemed so uncharacteristic of him to be a, to be able to be so prince-like. Hard to believe that he actually can dance, too. Sam, what is going on? We're dancing. What does it look like, doofus? Yeah, shut up. We're dancing, yes, but before I could continue, the room slowly began to melt and get darker. Are we in the sky? Are we in the- Are you- This is- This is, has to be a dream now. This is beautiful! Sam kept leading me through the dance as the room around us began to turn into the night sky. The stars were brilliantly lit, with the moon being the largest light in the sky. I felt myself grip to Sam tighter before looking around. We were dancing in the sky, under the light of the moon. Our feet touched the air as if it were merely the floor as we waltzed to echoed music. Speaking of air, I slightly looked down to see the mansion far below us. We were very high up in the sky. I couldn't help but tighten my grub again to Sam, who chuckled in response. Sam! What? We're, we're, we're in the- We're in the sky. Yes, I know, doofus. Shut up! I'm scared of heights! Well, kind of, but not really. Yeah, anyway. But what if- I promise, I won't let you fall. I can actually- I can actually believe that because he didn't let me fall off the roof and, was, and this time he's being sincere. Okay. I looked up at Sam to see him with a serious expression. Our dance became a simple sway as he gently moved the hand on my waist to caress my cheek. I naturally closed my eyes and nuzzled into his gloved hand. I would never let you fall. I'll be by your side. Always. I'll protect you with my life. Aww. My heart. My heart, man. My heart. His words echoed through my body, making my heart feel warm and light. I felt incredibly happy that he was like this. I almost didn't want to ask anymore about what was happening. Everything seemed too perfect that even the smallest doubt might break this dream. This would this is this is like a dream come true for me. Sam has officially became my dream guy. Beside Eric on the side. Yes, I love Eric, but right now Sam just opened my heart up. He's doing things that I love. I'm a lover of space, okay? Seeing stars like this just makes me go. Yes! I didn't want this dream to end if it was one. Sam gently led me back into a dance, smiling once again to me. Where did you learn how to dance? What? Tell us. Tell us. We all know that you didn't know how to dance, so who taught you? <laughs> Sam let out a small laugh and twirled me before returning, to our, returning me to our waltz. James taught me. It took forever, trust me. But I think I got it. It's not too hard. As expected, James taught you. That's so nice. So nice of James. Thank you, James. You're an amazing dancer. He blushed when I said that. My words rendered him speechless. He stared down at me but with while well, and what? Uh, sorry, my words are jumbled. He stared down at me and blushed while trying to continue our dance. You're so important to me, you know. Aw, and you are important to me, Sam. I mean it, though. No one has ever made me feel this way. Ever. I never even thought I'd be like this, but... Sam? Soon, Sam slowly stopped us from dancing, letting us stand in the night sky like nothing else mattered. Sam stared down at me, a look of pure seriousness covering his face. I... 
I love you so much, all right? You make me feel like a man, not a monster. You're so freaking important to me. I just... My heart was being faster than I thought possible. Sam gently lifted my chin and leaned down, laying his forehead against mine. I want to be worthy of you. Ah, you already are worthy of me. You've captured my heart, okay? You are, Sam. I love you too. Ah, the picture! I, can we give a moment of silence for this beautiful picture right now? Oh my god, I'm screaming inside, screaming internally. Okay, let's just get back to the plot. Sam closed his eyes and smiled. I could feel my heart warm and my eyes began to water. He was everything I dreamt of, everything I wanted, everything I needed. I loved him. Sam then slowly lifted my left hand and kissed over my ring finger. For a second, I heard him growl slightly before whispering, Man, screw human tradition. I'm a demon. What are you doing? Huh? I want to know what he's doing. I watched as Sam kissed the back of my hand, then over my wrist. I could feel my energy gently circle and vibrate at the touch of his lips. I watched as a very subtle green marks began to draw themselves over my hand, almost like watercolor paint, as chains. They circled around my wrist and continued to circle around my hand. Once, twice, three times. At the fourth, it wrapped around the base of my ring finger. The marks began to glow gently before fading into my skin. On my ring finger, however, appeared a gold ring with emeralds and diamonds. It glistened in the moonlight, glimmering its bright, brilliant shine at the many stars that surrounded us. That's so pretty, oh my goodness! I looked up at Sam, who had a small smirk. <laughs> if you don't say yes to marrying me, I'll never forgive you. Oh my god! He did, he did, the, he did the same thing like James did! He's proposing to me, but in a different way, but I still love it. Oh my god! I'm screaming more inside! Help! I instantly began to cry, feeling my entire body warm up in joy. Sam held my hands to his chest, letting his smirk melt into a genuine smile. But yeah, will you marry me? I want to be yours and have you as my own forever. I know I'm not on one knee or whatever, but I'm a friggin' demon, so like... I don't care! If you're not on one knee, you propose, you put the ring on it, you asked, I will marry you. I didn't let him finish. I instantly jumped up and wrapped my arms around him, kissing him deeply. He gasped against my lips before slowly wrapping his arms around me and kissing me back just as deeply. Every ounce of his love showed itself to me in that kiss. I felt like I was in heaven, just kissing him and being in his arms. He was who I wanted to be with and I would continue to love him and be his for the rest of our days. As we gently pulled away, I smiled, tears still gently rolling down my cheeks. Yes, Sam, I will marry you. Sam smiled wildly before hugging me close. His embrace was tight, and I could feel him almost shudder in pure joy. He was as happy as I was. I love you. I love you, too. And that was my happily ever after. Well, that's the end of Sam's epilogue. I'm screaming entirely. Oh my god best thing ever credits credits going to the credits in honor of a special sam fit okay i'm a sam fan but that's not for me but anyways yes i am sam fan i am indeed a sam fan i will not deny it i mean for crying out loud my desktop screen is a picture of sam my phone screen is a picture of sam okay you all expect eric to be on my screen right well, you guys thought wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. Eh, I love Eric, but still. Love for Sam. Okay. It was written by Michaela Laws, art by Camille Rulli and Badro. Music by Christopher Escalante. And Alejandro Sabasit. Message to Alejandro. Love you. Amazing voice for Sam. Love your channel. Love you in general. Alright then. Okay, so, yes, I will, I, just so you guys know, yes, I will be playing Satoos Me too. I won't leave that hanging, haha, <laughs> no chance. So, anyways, that's the end of Seduce Me Shall We Dance. 
So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!